My name is Stetson Webster and I'm a storage architect in Customer One, otherwise known as NetApp Corporate IT. Prior to attending this workshop, Customer One had no idea how to deliver consistent levels of service to our customers. We had no way to measure where we were, no target, no benchmark. So we were deploying beefy systems and were still vulnerable to spiraling P1s like the wild, wild west. The challenge then would be to explain the performance problem after the fact with no benchmark, baseline or variant to our support center. So how do we share our environment like any service provider needs to and not experience bullies and victims? So for a problem statement, I would say that left to standard practices, we overbuy, yet we're still vulnerable to quality of service issues with bullies and victims in the environment. What this really means is that if an IT organization uses these standard Wild West practices, NetApp storage is too expensive, not efficient, and not tier one. So how do we scale as a service provider? How do we pull this off? In my experience with this workshop, I had great doubts going into it that we were going to accomplish all of this work in two days. After the two days um, in this workshop, I realized that we've accomplished a whole lot more than, we would have than I thought we would have accomplished in two weeks. Even though some of our prior designs have helped us quite a bit in, in Customer One with the number of spindles and the sizing of the heads, we really needed this workshop to create the service levels and the metering and the internal billing approach that were necessary to be a service provider. Customer One, like the other 16 customers and service providers that went before us, struggled to identify and measure service levels, even as an existing shop already in business. We consistently overspent and still risked under delivery against these unknown service levels. We want to transform how NetApp sells our product by selling as a service level instead of a SKU.